Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Tobin here with you. If you guys could subscribe here, subscribe to the 560 WQAM YouTube page. You can watch Tobin and Leroy every single weekday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can watch the show on demand, watch clips, and you can now watch, uh, of course, a new pregame show I'm doing with uh, Solana, my former Porpoise Pod uh, co-host, and uh, Omar Kelly. We are getting you ready for all Finns action. Uh, just did a little recap of that. Busy night, man. Busy night in South Florida. Messy dude going out there. He got another goal to put the dagger in there for the pinks and the goat going out there and doing it. It was already in hand. Like they had that puppy already up 3 0. But, you know, just for good measure, the scoring streak continues for the bat. So, congratulations to Messi. Congratulations to the pinks moving on to the semifinals of the League Cup. That has been an incredible run. So you had that. I went to Marlins and Yankees today because we had a listener meetup. And uh, I got to see my guy uh, RTD. Got to see SDI. So it was good to see those boys in the house. Uh, hung out with Leroy, of course. We were uh, in the Budweiser Terrace. Did a little cruise. I love that Marlins Park, man. I really do. I love walking. I love being able to see the games. because you know, It was one of those games. It was a packed house tonight. 30 plus thousand. Um, had to leave a little early cause I got funneled into the, uh, the parking garage, which is not my plan. I wanted to park, you know, in somebody's parking lot and, uh, get the easy exit. Cause if you go a crowd in that Marlins park, pff, death wish dude, as far as like, you're going to be there forever. So I had to vamoose out of the, uh, the Marlins game. And while that's happening, um, you know, there was a whole lot of action. You had Messi going on. You had the Dolphins, although their action was very lackluster. And then in uh, in uh, North Miami, you had the Miami Pro League Championship was going on. And I got to tell you, this is a must stop for me next year. I have to go to one of these. It looks like so much fun. But today was intriguing in particular. It was the championship match. You had... Uh, I think it was Taylor Sports Group versus uh, um, Remy Sports, I think is the the, the other one. And uh, TSG has won like three in a row. So they were going for their fourth straight championship in this thing. And they're headlined by Bam Adebayo. And if you're a Heat fan and you went to this, you had Bam Adebayo with Kendrick Nunn on the uh, the defending champs. And then on the other team, on Remy's team, you had uh, Hassan Whiteside, Josh Richardson, and the big headliner, out of nowhere, making his his summer league debut with the headband and and the uh, and the pants. Boy wonder Tyler Hero showed up to the high school gym, and that dude put on a show. I mean, this was so captivating to watch. He was going out there, dude. And he put up forty four mother bleeping points in this game. He even had a chase down block. He was doing everything in this game. And you got to give this kid credit, man. Like, you got to think about all the rumors, all the stuff that he's got, all the bull bleep he's got going on. People thinking his every move, guilty as it, with all the social media movement uh, is a thing. And in the midst of it, just goes to a game that's amongst the fans. You guys can show up. You could watch NBA players in action, hoop it up, do cool stuff in a fun environment with a championship in a league on the line. And how do you not love that? This guy showing up to the gym and putting up a, a 44 piece on them. I mean, that's just, that was really, really cool. And Tyler Hero was just playing with such a, you know, that that familiar swagger, talking bleep, hitting big shots. And the big, the biggest one, I mean, he, he, he brought his team back. Huge bucket. I think it was like 11 seconds left. Tyler Hero hit this shot. 11 seconds to play. Hits that leaning three-point shot that he's so comfortable with. And you know how he is with fourth quarter ice water in his veins. And not only that, but the PA guy who was calling the game, he does the play-by-play -play over the video, is like, are you sure you want to trade him? Don't trade him. And I mean, like, it was, he goes, are you guys sure you want Damian Lillard? It was, it was just, it had to be a really, really fun moment for Tyler Hero going out there. And doing what he, what he did, what he's what he's doing, and he's got the 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 PA guy going. You better not trade me. Are you sure you want Dame? Like that's got to be a fun night, you know. In a, in a summer that's been filled with probably a lot of crap for him, and a, a summer that's been filled with un, uncertainty, and 
you think you're getting traded and then you're just like hanging in the balance there. I really, really liked that. That was that was a cool moment for Tyler Hero and and put on just a show for everybody that was there. It's streamed live on the NBA uh, app and on NBA.com if you guys want to watch. I don't know if it's still up there on demand, but the dude was awesome. The dude was awesome. You guys could go check it out there. And uh, I think I think I even just saw Brady Hawk put up a montage. The dude's a film monster, so go check out my guy Brady. I think he puts up the 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 best of Tyler Hero. Who, yeah, I mean, the dude was just, he was absolutely killing it, you know, with, uh, you know, he's a, he's an absolute sniper. And then on top of it, like, who doesn't love you? You get to see a little Carlo, uh, you get to see a little Chris Silva, a little uh, Son White. If you were a Heat fan, you went to that game. I can't imagine how much fun you were having with that in the gym. And by the way, Bam Adebayo, he sunk the free throws to win the thing. I don't know why Tyler Hero didn't get the chance to shoot the game winner. They had him inbound the ball. And uh, and give it up. I don't understand that. I feel like it's so odd. that that's a that's a bad uh, that's a bad you know what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, it's just a bad sense of the moment. You know, like it, Tyler Hero hits that shot to tie. You got to give him the chance to to go for the win. And you know, I don't know if he's just being a good dude and wanted to give it up to somebody else, but I I, I don't understand why you would deprive everybody of that moment of Tyler trying to hit the game winner, but the dude was cooking. The dude was cooking. It was a fun thing to see. Um, Bam, you know, doing his thing, had some monster dunks again, you know, right down the lane. It was fun seeing him and Whiteside, the former teammates, you know, Bam used to be Hassan's backup. So you had that element to it. You had Jay Rich, RJ Rich and Tyler Hero going to be teammates. Is this going to be a thing? At one point you had Kendrick Nunn, trying to cook on Tyler Hero because Ken, the, the baby goat gang, bah, they're going at it with one each other. So it was like, I don't know what you, it was kind of like, it must have been kind of like a, a midsummer heat fan fest in a way. It's like, oh, look how cool this would be to be in, in a high school gym and you got Tyler Hero, bam, you know, you, you're, you're legit stars of the team. You got Jay Rich, who's beloved. Hassan Whiteside is one of the all-time leading rebounders in the franchise's history. Um you know, Chris Silva, who made everybody cry with that that beautiful reunion with his mom. Kendrick Nunn, who was an all rookie for you. I mean, what a, what a what an awesome night that must have been. So if if you went out there and you checked that out, that had to be just unbelievably cool. But Tyler Hero showing up in the midst of a a you know rumor filled uh, a summer of uh, of in of in ter- of uh, uh, a time of uh, you know uncertainty for him. Really, really cool. Really. Oh, and I just look at this. He just tweeted out. Um, first time hooping since I broke my hand. Good runs. And yeah, he didn't even think about that. Like, dude, dude hasn't gotten to really play basketball since he broke his hand. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So really, really awesome performance by Tyler Hero. He uh he was he was fantastic tonight. And uh that looked really, really fun. Looked really, really fun. And it was Goosey's galore, dude. I got to be honest. I really, I can't wait for basketball to be back. It's such a, uh, it's been, uh, it's been such a long wait. And I've watched a lot of Miami Pro League over the last 48 hours or so. And it's been, and I haven't regretted a moment of it. I've loved every minute of it. And I miss it so much.